We've all seen the commercials. Nine out of ten dentists recommend you brush your teeth with toothpaste. However, what these dentists don't recommend is eating a whole tube of toothpaste, which is exactly what you've just done. While just 30 minutes ago you were happy, healthy, with a million dollar crest smile, now you're being rushed to the hospital with stomach pains, convulsions, and are on the verge of a heart attack, and you still don't understand what went wrong. How can something designed to be put in your mouth every day be so deadly to eat? And why do they make toothpaste in such delicious flavors if you're not supposed to eat it at all? Well, these are all good questions. Questions. Toothpaste as we know it has been a staple product in the modern household since as early as 1873. Throughout human history, dental diseases and tooth decay have become surprisingly common and have had devastating effects on human health. Seriously, dental disease has even been considered a U.S. national emergency. Toothpaste provides a vital defense against such problems, but despite its widespread positive health effects and potentially life-saving properties, people were initially quite reluctant to get up in the morning and actually brush their teeth. That's why tooth Toothpaste companies like Colgate decided to make toothpaste foamy and minty. The foam makes us feel like the paste is actually doing something to kill germs, while the usually minty flavor feels clean and fresh. The combination of these two factors quickly made toothbrushing a staple morning habit for millions. However, this tasty little miracle paste had a dark component to it that, when swallowed in large quantities, can cause serious health problems. See, the vital ingredient in toothpaste is fluoride, which is everywhere. It's found naturally in soil, water, and a variety of foods and has played a vital role in improving human dental health over the years as it strengthens and reinforces your teeth. It's so effective at improving dental strength that it's even artificially added to drinking water, mouthwashes, and yes, toothpaste. While there are only trace amounts of fluoride in drinking water, mouthwashes and toothpaste tend to have a lot more since, you know, they're not meant to be swallowed. Now, we all do get a little gulpy now and then, and it's not a big deal. Swallowing a mouthful of toothpaste accidentally is typically fine. People do it pretty often, and the worst it usually leads to is a little tummy trouble. Swallowing a lot of toothpaste can be a really, really bad thing, though. Ingesting a tube of fluoride-based toothpaste or a bottle of mouthwash can cause intense stomach pain, intestinal blockage, convulsions, diarrhea, breathing problems, drooling, shock, tremors, weakness, vomiting, heart attacks, and more. There are non-toxic, fluoride-free toothpastes out there, too, and while they are safer, you probably shouldn't go around eating tubes of those for fun, either. You'll end up with a bad stomach ache, but fortunately, that's about it. Now, now, if you're an adult and you've made it this far in life without eating an entire tube of toothpaste, chances are you aren't going to fall victim to this at any point soon. However, kids, as we all know, are kind of dumb and eat more questionable things than toothpaste all the time. Also, it doesn't help that children's toothpaste comes in all sorts of crazy flavors like bubblegum and chocolate, making it more likely for a child to chow down. So if you walk into the bathroom and find your kid with an empty tube of toothpaste and a big foamy smile, what exactly should you do next? An ounce of preparedness is worth a pound of cure. So one of the best things you can do is check out the first aid and poisoning preparedness videos on Brainiac's YouTube channel, right here. However, assuming you've done that, the first line of defense for any potential poisoning incident is to make them drink a ton of water and or milk. These liquids should help dilute the poison, and in the case of milk, help slow down their digestive process, buying you precious time to seek medical help. Next, you'll want to call a poison control center, STAT. Make sure you tell them exactly how much toothpaste you or your child ate, so that they're able to accurately counsel you on next steps. Toothpaste poisoning is serious enough that if you did eat a whole tube, chances are high that you'll end up going to the emergency room. There, you'll be given an activated charcoal to stop the poison from being further absorbed into your body, and calcium is an antidote to reverse all the ill effects. A particularly bad case of toothpaste poisoning may lead emergency staff to take drastic measures like inserting an oxygen pump directly into your lungs. They'll also give you an x-ray, pump your stomach, and try a bunch of other tests and give you a lot of fluids to flush out your system. Although the effects of fluoride can be grave, given prompt medical attention, you should be able to make a full recovery relatively quickly. In fact, we here at Brainiac strongly support brushing and flossing. Quote us on that. As we mentioned earlier, fluoride is perfectly safe in small quantities. So there's really no need to abandon your favorite mouthwash or freak out if you accidentally swallow a bit of toothpaste. However, if you have kids, make sure you brush with them so they establish safe brushing habits and ensure they don't succumb to their natural instinct to follow up dinner with a minty fresh dessert. That's all for now, Brainiacs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.